Hi folks, how you all doing? Cross the six here. Hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day, evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, I really hope you enjoy my content and it inspires you to hit that like and subscribe button. You don't have to, of course. I uh, appreciate that not everybody wants to, but it would really help the channel out if you did. But anyway, on with today's gameplay. We're on the ELC Even 90, little French premium tier 8 light tank on fjords. So it's a tier 9 matchup. I'm bottom tier, uh, as per normal. <laughs> so I'm just trying to work this tank up, uh, and I'm really trying to get the marks of excellence on it. Uh, not that I'm particularly interested in the marks of excellence, but it's nice, isn't it? It's nice to know that you've put all that hard work in of grinding through the games and just, you know, taking the good games with the bad games. And the majority of games that I find I have in this tank um, are okay, they're not too bad. Uh, the camouflage rating on this thing is just insane so you know with that effect and the cannon on this is, is pretty decent it really is uh, you do do damage um, but it, it's one of these tanks that you've got to kind of play uh, gingerly uh, if that's the right word now I wouldn't say it's a, a glass cannon it hasn't got a lot of armor obviously because it's a light tank and that's the way it's supposed to be and, and the light tank is Predominantly used for going out and getting the information for the rest of the team to let them know where the movements of the enemy uh, side are effectively and that's what I try to do in every game and when I do get chances to take shots like this one here on the leopard you know you've got to take them shots haven't you and hopefully if you get spotted you can get you're quick enough to get out of any form of danger so there's the first one down um, so yeah I was quite pleased about that but the thing with this tank that I find, um, and for the console players, um, if you've got this tank on the console, it seems to be faster for some reason, or it seems to just play faster. I, I don't quite... I'm, I'm finding... Because obviously I've got this on the console, but I do find that it seems to be slower on the PC version of the game than the console. Now that might just be me. Because uh, I'm so used to playing it on the console, I guess. But that's how it comes across to me, and that's how it feels. And I've found myself getting into a fair few um, dust-up fights that I've always lost, because I'm a light tank, uh, or the majority I've lost, um, purely down to the speed of the, and agility of the vehicle. Whereas on the console, it gives you a little bit more confidence to kind of take more risks, if you like. Um, but that all said and done, it's still a brilliant tank on the PC. Now, like many, many other people, I've, I've put on a couple of mods uh, for this, the Aslanes mod. Um, so if you play the P PC and and you don't know what I'm talking about, and I'll be amazed if you don't, but yeah, the Aslane mod is pretty good. Now, a lot of people advocate not using mods and stuff, but I think, hey, it's just a game. You're there to enjoy yourself and have fun. And if you can make your uh, the user interface, if you like, uh, look good, you're hood and all that, then why not? You know, you're not cheating or anything like that, far from it. Uh, you're not getting any ad advantageous um, thing over the enemy, uh, far from it. You know, you're just changing things like the hood, the aim and reticule and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, I quite like that. And this particular mod that I'm using, the Aslanes mod, it's all authorised by Wargaming. It's actually on the Wargaming uh, mod site, so it's part of the, the website for Wargaming. Uh, but go check it out. I, I think you'll be impressed with some of the things that's on there. Uh, and I'm, I am a big advocate for, you know, making sure that you're not cheating or anything like that, because uh, as per normal, you'll always get somebody who, who can't be bothered to, you know, work hard at the game or whatever and try and improve. They'd rather cheat. But if they get caught, then... Thankfully, they get banned, uh, so that's got to be a good thing, in my opinion. So I managed to take that T-54 out, and that's the great thing with this tank, with the camouflage rating, and, and it's it's that hidden ninja. It's that sneaky-beaky hidden ninja, or I wasn't from the artillery, but I never ever am from artillery normally. <laughs> they usually have a bead in for me. They, they normally have the horn for me, that's what I normally, that's what I normally say. And I kind of mess up a little bit here with my driving skills. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, buddy. I have, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to ram you there. And not that I did any damage to you, but <laughs> but it's uh, yeah. I need to get a couple of L plates, I think, for this tank. Um, so yeah, I'm just working my way around, see if I can get a shot on this Progetto, which I do. Um, missed the second shot. 
but that's all good. It's all good. I've still got one shell in the container. There's artillery, the dreaded artillery. Managed to get a shot into him. And so really, I'm just kind of running for my life at the moment, just to try and reload uh, with a view of turning around and coming back in to the actual fight itself and see if I can help out a little bit more. Now, believe it or not, I don't mind uh, one artillery in a game. Uh, I think that's, that's fair and it's balanced. But when you've got like, you know, three, two, three artillery in the game, it just, I don't know how many times that my game has been absolutely wrecked by artillery in, in very early on in the game. And that's a shame because it kind of takes the enjoyment out of the game itself, which is all supposed to be about fun. Now, I'm not knocking people who play artillery. If you like playing that, then fair play to you. Um, you know, good luck to you. And I hope you really enjoy it and have a great time in the game but me personally I'm not a big advocate and I'm not a big fan of, of artillery I think they ought to change it but well that's that's another story for a different day's video I guess but that's the thing uh, with the PC version of this game uh, I, I think it's more strategy based or that that's that's how I like to view it anyway but I'm gonna make my way up this little hill here and try and help out this Stramwagen that's up there and see if I can get a couple of shots in and try and get them to focus in on me so it gives them a chance with their bigger cannons to take them out. So I managed to get that other T-54. We've got the T-34 now. Now this is a beautiful thing with this tank is it's so small that as long as you get alongside of these big tanks, they can't shoot you. He tried there and he missed. So again, I'm trying to get him to focus in on me, stay at his side, I'm reloading and somebody takes him out. So that little plan of mine worked perfectly. Uh, and it doesn't always work like that for me, trust me, I tried I tried it the other day with a tortoise and he crushed me and killed me. <laughs> so there you go, it doesn't always work. And talk about tortoise, there we go, I've just taken a shot from this one here. Now at this point I'm trying to think to myself, well how can I get round him? But thankfully he came down and one of my teammates took him out. So that's all good. So we've only got one tank left now. Um, so yeah, I'm just thinking, well hang on a minute, I've got an op to do, I've got to try and capture the base as one of my ops. Um, so, they've only got one tank left, the Type 61. Uh, so, I'm thinking, well, he hasn't been spotted yet. Uh, so, do I really want to go running around with such low health or should I try and get my op completed by sitting on the base? Uh, but at this point, he's now spotted and I'm, I'm kind of having this this little dilemma with myself. Should I go and help out or should I try and just get on the base? And I've decided there's enough of them over there that are going to take him out so I might as well get some capture points and see if I can get my op done. And I know that we've got two tank destroyers over there engaging the Type 61 so I'm, I'm kind of thinking to myself well they should be okay, they should be able to take him out, it shouldn't be too much of an issue for them to. And plus we've still got artillery in play uh, so he might be able to get a shot at him. But being selfish I'm thinking well you know if I can get my op done that's another little bonus to me. What would you do in this situation? Would you have run around there to help? Bear in mind I'm on five kills uh, and it would have given me my sixth kill. But, well, you know, I decided to opt for try and get my op done. So he's just about to die. Um, so he's played really, really well uh, for being the last man and he's now out of the game. But anyway, that's a win for us. So I was quite pleased about that. I was quite pleased with my performance in the game. Uh, was there a few things I could have done differently? Uh, yeah, perhaps. Um, but it swings and roundabouts, isn't it, at the end of the day? It's something that you just got to work on for the future. But anyway, on to the end plates. And I hope you really enjoyed this one, guys. Made a bit of credits. Came top. Till the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.